Okay. Let's see what's going on for you, Smitchy. Ah. Four of coins, eight of wands, and the hermit. The sun. Four of swords, and the strength card. Four of coins, and the eight of wands. You're holding yourself back. You're holding yourself back from communicating with someone. Um, it's like you are going into almost a hibernation mode because you've extended um, you might have overextended yourself in some way. And it looks like it's a really good thing for you to sort of pull back. There's a couple of things that happens with that. It may not be easy because you're maybe out there giving so much, putting out a lot. But with the Four of Swords... You need to, you need to take time for you. Now, if we look at your desire, there's a couple of things going on here. Now, these five cards wanted to come out. We have the world. And this is different than most. I've never seen the world come up very often in this position. And this talks to a couple of things. With the Three of Swords under this, you've had your heart broken previously. Not only that, we have the Justice card. This was not an easy thing to do. The Page of Swords is you're still sort of waiting for something. Especially with the Queen of Cups here. Because it just seems like there's a lot emotionally going on. When we look forward into the desire. Okay, now, as I'm reading for you right now, there's a big, it almost feels like a head cold. And that just could be that there's so many things going on in your head that it just feels really, really blocked. Now, and in the sinuses, especially in the sinuses in the front of my face, right underneath my eyes. Um, with the tower card, in the outcome, there's going to be a realization. This realization has to do with the connection, this Two of Cups connection here. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Once this tower comes down, what happens is this Two of Cups, Ace of Wands, and Ace of Cups takes off. The Ace of Wands, painting the life that you want. The Two of Cups, the connection that you want. The Ace of Cups, going forward together in a love. Now the emperor, <laughs> okay, you're gonna love this. We have the emperor. Now the emperor is the king of kings and this is what's working for you. So 
sometimes I see the emperor as being stuck in your ego. But at other times, it can be that you're standing your ground. That there's that you're sort of in your power. And with the Nine of Cups and the Five of Cups, I almost get that you're worried that you're being selfish. As you're standing in your power to create your Nine of Cups, that's a good thing. There are regrets though, and the regrets seem to be tied to your abundance and you're fighting this inside. There seems to be a, how would I, feeling of undeserving. So underlying all of this, there's this feeling of undeserving. In, when I look at this Five of Cups, you're sweating the small stuff. Because there's still two cups here. So I hope that makes sense. Now let's look at, okay, what you need to be aware of. The two of wands and six of cups. Of course it's the two of wands and the six of cups. Because that's what came out in Cancer's read earlier. Two of coins. Three of wands. Ten of coins. There's a choice regarding the past. And it's interesting because I'm looking at this two of coins. And for some reason, I saw this as like poison ivy. Um, damned if you do, damned if you don't type of thing. You're still balancing. You're balancing, but you're ta the one taking on the pain. The three of wands. Um, you can see this ten of coins, but you're still waiting. You're still waiting for it to happen. Ah, uh, yes. The chariot comes out again. Ace of coins. So we have three aces on the table, and we have three twos on the table as well. Um, I know you're going to look at that and step over into the numerology bit to check that out. But once you have chosen, and I don't mean like, yeah, I should go do this. Once you have committed, that's the word, committed to your direction, we see the Ace of Cups. However, you have the star, and the star is about hope, but the whole Four of Cups is about denying yourself that hope, denying yourself of the Nine of Coins. It's like things are coming easier, but you think they should be harder, and you're being critical of how these are coming through, because it should be harder. And it's almost like you think it should fall apart sooner or later. And it's got you up in your head. You need to... I almost see the King of Swords as education. But then we look at the Page of Coins. So it could be talking about a learning curve in this. And being able to see things and learn from them before you walk away from them. Especially when it comes to love. Focus on the things that you need to do and take the appropriate action. Ooh, wow. This is a really deep read. Um, I hope that gives you some of the clarity that you're looking for. Um, I know right now as I'm doing this read, now that I'm closer to the end of it, 
it is really really smoking me right in the forehead so this seems like this has been a headache for you for a while and it seems that it's really 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 connected to how you think about your gifts elevation the ten of cups love queen of wands five of swords it's just this it's almost a self it's almost like you don't realize what you actually have you're doubting you may be experiencing doubt or a lot of doubt with what you're doing because it's not going through the way that you would like it to it's almost um The other word that I've used before um, for myself is a imposter syndrome. And I'm not getting any more after that. So I hope this touches on some of the things that are going on for you. But that's what I have for you. I hope this helps.